In this video, we're going to find the directional derivative of this function at this point in the direction of this vector. Again, we're going to find the directional derivative of this function at this point in the direction of this vector. So there is a formula. Let me refresh your memory. So the directional derivative of a function, which we'll call h of x, y, in the direction of a unit vector, which I'll call u, is equal to the gradient of h dotted with our unit vector u. So in this case, our unit vector is actually v. This happens to coincidentally and fortunately be, fortunately be a unit vector. So you can write this as negative and then it's i hat. i hat is 1 comma 0. So this is going to be negative 1, 0. So all we have to do is find the gradient, plug in the numbers, take the dot product. So let's find the gradient first. So to find the gradient of h, we have to find the partial derivatives. Recall this is hx at xy, hy at xy. So hx is the partial with respect to x, hy is the partial with respect to y. So let's find hx. I think we can just do it here. So the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. So here it's e to the negative 2x times negative 2. It's the chain rule. And the sign is a constant because we're finding the partial with respect to x. So we treat this as a constant. So we're simply going to get negative 2 e to the negative 2x sine y. And then here, when we take this partial, um, this is a constant. The x's are constants. So this is going to be, well, the derivative of sine is cosine. So we get e to the negative 2x cosine y. All right, now we got to plug in our number, 1 pi over 2. So let's do that. So the gradient at 1 pi over 2. This is going to be interesting. I have not done this problem. So let's see. So our x is 1. So it's going to be negative 2 e to the negative 2 because x is 1. And then sine of pi over 2. And then here it's going to be e to the negative 2 again cosine of pi over 2. Going kind of fast. Sine of pi over 2 is 1. Cosine of pi over 2 is 0. So this is going to be negative 2 e to the negative 2 times 1. So, so it's just that. And this is times 0. So here we are. Uh, this is our gradient at this point. So to finish this problem, all we have to do is plug in the numbers into the formula. So the directional derivative of our function at 1 pi over 2, right, the notation is important, in the direction of our unit vector v is given by the dot product of this and this. While we work this out, this piece here is going to be this. So this is going to be angle bracket negative 2 e to the negative 2 comma 0 dotted with this bad boy here, so negative 1 comma 0. Right, that's our unit vector u. We called it its v in this problem. And when you compute dot products, what you do is you multiply these this times this. So it's this times this. That's going to be 2 e to the negative 2 plus, and then this times this. So 0. So we end up with 2 e to the negative 2. And that, my friends, is the final answer. It's not hard, but you do have to be careful. It's the notation. The notation is super intense, right? There's just a lot of notation. If you're doing these problems for a class or something, just make sure that you know, you, you, your notation is correct. It's really easy to forget to plug in. Like, don't put x, y here, right? You want to plug in the numbers. Take your time, go slow, and yeah, take care.